Hey YouTube, what is going on? Brandon here with another printer review video. Today we're going to be reviewing the Epson EcoTank 2720. We're going to be unboxing, setting up, and reviewing this printer and we're going to go into looking at uh, the body of the printer, how it really looks, the functionality of it, and we're going to go through all of the different specs in this video. I'm also going to provide a link for you if you were wanting to look into more details or if you were wanting to purchase this printer, uh, there's going to be that link in the description below for you. So before we get started, make sure to visit my website, bestprinterstech.com. And if you don't already have Amazon Prime, what are you waiting for? There's a 30 day free trial for you, link below as well. Any other products that I mentioned in this video, there will be a link to below and you can uh, go down there and take a look at that for yourself. Alright, I'm really excited for this new release to open it up and take a look at it and uh, show you guys what this printer has to offer. Uh, but without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. All right, you guys, so what you're gonna be getting in the box is the manual CD and some ink bottles along with your power cable. And I'm going right into going through some of the settings. You see me hitting the uh, buttons down there. And if you notice, it is not a touch screen and I'll go more into that later. Uh, but I'm going right into actually installing the ink bottles into this uh, ink compartment here. So one of the be big benefits of having this uh, EcoTank printer is that you no longer have to use cartridges and that's something that is uh, Epson is working on and it's getting better and better which every new with every new release that they're coming out with uh, these ink bottles are um, becoming more and more effective and more efficient okay so the black and cyan you can install pretty much at the same time uh, and there's really no issue with that so with these ink bottles uh, you are supposed to be able to print roughly about for about two years, depending on how much you actually end up using, uh, how much uh, how much of a heavy load you go through throughout that actual year. Uh, so if you have a light load, they might last you that long, but really I would recommend that you, as soon as you see them going about halfway to make sure you have your fresh set of ink bottles because you'll end up having some issues if you don't do that. Okay, so this is just a quick install video. I'm gonna speed through some of this other stuff, uh, but if you wanted a more in-depth and me going through every single color, how I installed it, and uh, kind of spending some more time on that, I'm gonna create a separate video on this channel. So subscribe to my channel if you haven't already for more content like this. Once you've installed your ink, you're then gonna hold down the question mark button for five seconds, and it's gonna put you into the um, processing it's going to take about 10 minutes, then you'll come to this screen and you're going to continue the setup. So you can uh, align it if you were if you're wanting to. I skipped that just for the sake of this video. And as you see here, like I said, there is no touch screen, uh, which honestly I'm kind of disappointed in. But at the same time, this I have seen where the most base models for Epson, HP, Canon, uh, they won't put a touch screen in even though it's 2019. Uh, because it's the base model it's the lowest model now when you get into the higher models you pay a little bit more you are gonna get a bigger screen with a touch screen uh, but this honestly is not a big deal for me at this point I mean you have an eco tank that's very efficient uh, I'm not going into uh, printing out a nozzle check uh, but you have a printer that is efficient it's good for what it's there for you're gonna save a lot on your ink and by the way there's gonna be a link in the description below for some brand new ink for this printer uh, so when it comes time for you to replenish your ink, uh, make sure that you have that. So it prints out very quickly. It can hold up to 100 sheets on that back paper tray. And I'll uh, sh show you the back paper tray later on in this video. But you have all the basic functionality, copying. Uh, you have the Wi-Fi set up. You can set up your Wi-Fi and uh, print wirelessly. It's also voice activated and you can uh, you sh you're supposed to be able to connect uh, your your iPad iPhone if you have an Android you have that ability to, to connect all of these um, different devices so you should be able to get 4500 pages black and roughly 7500 pages color 
with the one set of ink that it comes with with the setup ink and you see there the back paper tray it's adjustable it's not the biggest thing in the world it, it can't really take a massive amount of paper but it's good for a small home office and it's gonna do the trick uh, if you're not if you don't have really a heavy load if you do you're gonna want to move up and scale on this printer and if you click on the link below for this printer you can actually see the higher models that are available that are have a higher capacity for the pages and the yield is a lot higher so the body it's very sleek and you can't really see it through the footage but I really like the actual texture of the top of it. It's funny because you touch it and uh, you are moving it around and it's just, there's a texture to it that Epson added a layer over uh, the whole printer um, that really gives it a, a good grip and it just looks really sleek and I like the new white color. So I'm, I'm really, um, I'm pretty satisfied with this printer. It doesn't have all the functionality in the world for what you're paying for. So as far as uh, price, to be completely honest, uh, this might be a little bit overpriced, but that's your uh, judgment call, really at the end of the day, what you're gonna be using, and um, if the saving on the ink cartridges is gonna be worth it, that's really what they're selling you on. So that's really all I have for today, you guys. If you have any questions at all about this printer, go ahead and comment below. Also, like I've mentioned throughout the video, there. Are Plenty of links down below if you were wanting to look into any of the products that I talked about here today. Um, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching, and until next time. Hey YouTube, what is going on? Brandon here with Best Printers and I wanted to welcome you to my channel. Here you will find reviews on various different printers, uh, ink products, and other non-office related products, as well as repairs, uh, DIY instructional videos that will help you potentially fix your problem if you're having issues with printing a certain color or uh, an overall general print quality issue. I do have a product, the Best Printers Cleaning Kit, that will help you with that. Link in the description below it should be around here somewhere on the side. Really, this is a company that focuses on helping the consumer solve problems and acquiring products at the cheapest price possible, which is where my printer ink products do come in, where, which you can find on my website, bestprinterstech.com. So highly recommend that if you are looking for a new printer, new printer ink, or whatever it might be, search it up on my website and also make sure to sign up for emails all right, so this is my website, bestprinterstech.com. Very easy to find. Again, link in the description below. But what you're going to find here is a variety of uh, printer products. Uh, and of course, you're going to find a cleaning kit, which is um, also what I sell on the website. Uh, but you can uh, go ahead and enter your email address if you wanted to get updates on uh, new product launches or um, just some helpful information about your printer, printer maintenance. I really hope that all of that ends up being helpful to you. And of course, when it comes time for you to buy a printer, or if you want to read up on a printer, um, my website is going to be a resource for that. Hope that this ends up being helpful. Again, visit bestprinterstech.com. So that I can uh, notify you when there's a new product launch, when there's new printers that release, or a new ink product that I put out with a low price. I hope that I can end up being a guide for you when it comes to buying printers, and if you end up having an issue one day with your printer, I hope that I can be there as a resource for you uh, to pro provide information, instructions, and products to help you solve your problems. I really hope that all this information is helpful to you, and I really hope that you end up subscribing so that you can uh, be no and hit the bell notification so that you can be notified whenever I do launch a new product review. Uh, or whenever I do put out new content. Also, if you're here for printer repair, it might seem like there's no need to subscribe, you just need the video. 
Um, but your support would be greatly appreciated. But that's really all I have for today, you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching, and until next time.